Sean Atwood, served almost six years in Arizona's State Department of Corrections. There is no mercy for sex offenders in prison. Some of the most brutal violence I saw was against sex offenders. When I first went in, the white gang smashed another white guy in the shower, left him whimpering in a pool of blood, and then this big guy goes up to the gang and says, how come we can still hear him? And the gang were like, oh, we smashed him good, dog. It's like, not good enough. And just went into the shower and started to try to crack this guy's head open like it was a coconut. Just crack, crack, crack until he looked dead. The guy was laying on the shower floor. The guard does a security walk about 20 minutes later. Sees the body. Tells us all to lock down, lock down. We all run back to our cells. And I put my face to the window because I want to see what the damage is on this guy. He's on a stretcher getting carried out. Blood coming out of his head. But there's also yellow fluid like brain stuff there was a sex offender undercover in our housing unit in the cell next to me he was a Mexican and six months he'd been my neighbor and then he went to court and it was on the news that he'd molested his niece and the Mexicans they waited until they guarded a security walk so they wouldn't be interrupted torturing him and they got him in the cell and I've never heard such haunting sounds and cries for help as they slowly tortured this guy in the end he stumbled out of the cell he was caked in blood from head to toes and he, he managed to get down the stairs and he knocked on the window and he, he was unrecognizable basically and the guards popped the door open for the pod and he just stumbled out and we never saw him again now sex offenders generally will go to their own prison but some will not want to be locked down in the county jail they'll they'll end up in the general population undercover sex offenders and the gang to try and sort this out what they do is when you first go in they ask to see your legal paperwork your charge sheet that's on a little printout from the jail and the gang rule is if, if they find out anyone has got sex offenses rape child molestation it's called kos the kill on site they, they come in so any crimes against women or children, um, you're going to at least get a beat down if not murdered as soon as you come in. And they got murdered as soon as you come in. And the guys doing these beat downs and murders, they actually earn tattoos for putting in that work. And the, the gang I saw attacking, the, the white guy was the Aryan Brotherhood prison gang. And then it was the Mexican gang that attacked the Mexican. Now, some sex offenders do get separated. A lot of them actually do. And once they get sentenced, they actually have their own prisons and because the general population couldn't attack them in their own prison in Arizona what they did was they smashed open all the thermometers with the mercury in them and the general population was serving food to the sex offenders they put all the mercury into the food and the sex offenders ate the food and dozens of them went into comas and almost died so yep there's no love for sex offenders in prison the guards will tell the inmates who the sex offenders are inmates will find out by looking at legal paperwork or they'll contact people on the streets and have them look up cases online and once they ferret out these sex offenders it's KOS kill on sight in the information box at the foot of this video is all the links to all my social media Facebook Twitter please subscribe to this channel and if you've got any more questions put them in the comments box and I'll make a YouTube video about them thank you